right, this is the Sonic and Sonic MR76 and Sonic MR76. We're going to look at this. I just uh, I got it in on a trade. And first of all, when you want to select a sound, you hit this select sound button and then you can uh, scroll through the different categories and as I go down through the categories uh, GM ROM sounds uh, it's got beautiful sound these are your layers Go down through this. Let's look at a different category. Uh, orchestra strings and woodwinds. Here's organs, mellow pipes. organ pedals. These are your pipe organs. Of course, pianos. Tack piano. And a warm grand piano. Let's go over here to uh, here's a typical piano pad, beautiful pad sounds. Now what's really great about this, if you're a composer and you like to write music, uh, you can uh, record an idea with rhythms. So as you record, It'll play that back. It's kind of like a scratch pad for musicians. And then uh, I think it'll record about, uh, well, this is at number 22. Let's see, I actually recorded some of the other things I did. Here's 21, I don't know what that is. And then I've got 20. These were just my little demos that I was doing. So it keeps record of what you've been playing and uh, gives you a, a, a record log. But it's also got a 16 track. And you hit record and One, play. Two, and three, the instrument four. gives you a countdown. Also has a swell pedal, so you could hook up a swell to it. That's really great when you're doing some orchestration and you're sequencing. Um, all right, we'll stop that. You go up to 16 track. Uh, again, I'm ad living here as I go, just to show you the instrument. I think it's for the vintage of this instrument. It was well beyond its time. Of course, you do have some storage floppy disks, but for MIDI, floppy disks
can put a lot of music there. All right, we'll go back over here, some of the different sounds. I'll just play down through some things, go through the categories, of course. Okay, we can go down through some other categories, electric pianos. All right, uh, and what's really neat about this, you have real-time control of your pan and your reverb. Uh, there's a knob right over here where you can control that. Let's go over here. go back to our sounds let's stop and again just ad libbing I'm not really I just took this in on a trade and I'm learning it as I talk to you on this video pretty neat Now let's see if I could recall that idea. Uh, there's just so many different sounds. I, I, the video is going to be kind of long if I uh, keep going here. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just put the demo on here. And uh, this has quite a few different demos. And let's see if we can scroll through them. All right, here's one called Overture. Let's see what that sounds like. And of course, this is the instrument uh, that we're going to play. a couple other demos here here's let's see what this is uh guitar demo okay i think you could play along with this that is interesting Let's see if I could go over to the guitars. So old synthesizer sound. All right.
Now, again, these are the actual sounds of the instrument being sequenced from the 16-track sequencer, but internally now. I'll try to play along with it. I don't think I could quite play that. I got the ending. All right, there it is, the uh, Ensonic MR76. You can do a lot with it. Got the sequencer. It has 16-track sequencer, a composer's scratch pad, uh, a lot of effects, many hundreds and hundreds of sounds, I think somewhere near a thousand different sounds. And uh, probably for its day, it was far more advanced than most keyboards. All right, that's it. And uh, it's for sale. I hope if you're interested in it, we have it as a trade-in. And uh, let us know. Thank you.